Hey guys, a lot of news in the current events, and so baseball season is suspended just for a couple weeks. But as a sports photographer, that doesn't mean you have to stop what you're doing. This is a time that we can actually improve our techniques, and I want to show you some ways that you can improve your baseball photography techniques for the Little League for when the season gets going again. And let's get to it. So I've been asked the question with Little League Baseball, do you change how you shoot and what you're looking for depending on the age divisions? And the answer to that question is yes, there's a big difference to what I'm shooting. And I would divide Little League Baseball into three different categories. You've got the little guys, which is kind of ranging around the t-ball age. You've got, let's just say, middle-aged players who have developed some skills but are still kind of working towards the, the older kids level. And then you do have the older kids that are getting ready for high school. So three different levels of play, three different skill sets, and three different things that you're looking for as a sports photographer. So let's start with the little guys. We're talking t-ball age or maybe one division higher than that. And with t-ball age, you're not gonna have a pitcher and you're not gonna have a real active catcher. So that's one element that you do not have to worry about. You wanna make sure you get pictures of these kids as they're batting. And what's cool about this is they don't strike out. So they, they all get a chance to hit the ball and they all get a chance to run to first base. But the magic of this age group is when they're running to first base, because they make all kinds of expressions as they're coming down the line. You know, there's that first surprise, oh my gosh, I hit the ball. And then the second one, oh my gosh, I have to run. And then the third one that I notice is, oh, there's my coach down the line and he's calling for me. And there's just this excitement that comes on their face as they get closer to first base. Make sure you capture that. All right, so if you wanna talk about the middle age divisions, we're talking about 10U, and you could probably go one level below that at 8U to some degree, because at these two levels, you do have pitchers and you do have catchers. And so that's an element of the game that you make sure you wanna make time to capture. What you are looking for though now is plays at the bases, because there will be some plays at the bases. Uh, there's gonna be some base running, there's gonna be pass balls from the catchers, so there's gonna be more steals and these are the things you want to be aware of. And then you will have some defensive plays that you're looking for as far as balls in the infield, um, pop flies to the outfield, um, catcher scrambling for a, a loose ball, pitcher coming to the home plate to cover on a steal. So these, these types of plays are just beginning to manifest in these kids' game, and so you want to, you want to be aware of that. And what's nice about it is, is the gameplay is a little bit slower, so you have more time to set up and swing and, and pull focus on your camera. So, it's a good practice for the photographer that's trying to improve uh, sports photography skills before you work at the higher levels. And then of course you've got the older division which is 12U and up. And these are boys and girls that are getting ready for high school play. But when you get to this level, you gotta make sure that you are in a safe place. So I'm typically behind first base or behind third base. And I keep both eyes open when I shoot because I need to be able to see what's going on with my other eye but they're using a real hard ball, so if you get hit by a foul ball or a throw that's errant, um, it could either hurt you, hurt your camera, or both. But at this level, you've got competent pitchers, you've got competent catchers, and you've got fast base runners, so you're gonna get more plays at the bases, particularly at second base, there's gonna be a lot of steals from first to second, depending on how good the catcher is. There's gonna be some steals from second to third, which are fantastic if you're on that side of the field to catch. But the biggest thing is you're gonna find more plays at home plate because from third base, a runner can score on a pass ball, on an infield hit, on a base hit, and so a lot of times there's gonna be a play so you wanna be ready to swing your camera and look for these shots. But the number one thing is your own safety is what you're looking for at this higher level. Hey, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope these tips were helpful for you as a beginner trying to get started. And like I said, maybe we don't have baseball to shoot this week, but we can also refine our techniques and be ready for when the season starts again. So we have some more, uh, we have some more skills that we can use in our in our repertoire. We just got to get through this 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 pandemic that we're in, but you know we're going to be fine. So make sure that you are a better photographer when we come out at the other end of this. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, and especially in my Little League Baseball series, subscribe. And until the next video. I'm signing off.